Okay, okay then. Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hello, hello, and good evening. It is the 15th of May, 2023, and we are back with the Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Uh, we are still getting set up for a couple of minutes on our end, so while we finish getting ready and ready to go, please get yourself a drink, get yourself a snack, and get yourself comfortable. We're back after the break with Pokemon Leaf Green. See you after the break. Hello, hello, and good evening to you all. It is I, Captain Steel 379, on the microphone once again. And once again, we're back this wonderful Monday night with the Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke Challenge. How are you all doing tonight? I'm so sorry about there being no stream for a while, but uh, honestly, quite a lot has happened. So originally the plan was to just babysit my wonderful little uh, goddaughter for the weekend, so the Friday, the Saturday. But uh, yeah, then it turns out I got myself a brand new job, which required me to work the Sunday evening. So uh, yeah, that, that's been exciting. Yeah, that's been incredibly exciting. New opportunities, new skills. Plus, it means I can leave my old job now. It mean, provided that tomorrow's shift goes well, I can leave my old job so I don't have to wake up at half past three in the morning. And which would make me an incredibly happy steal. It would make me an incredibly happy steal. But anyway, 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 how are you all doing tonight? How are you all doing tonight? Right then, before we get on with our anime recap, we're going to drop a link to our Discord server in the chat below. So if you want to keep up to date with goings on behind the scenes, new emotes, animations, and just interact with an amazing community, you can do so at the following link. And I'm also going to post the, uh, I'm also going to post the Nuzlocke rules into the chat as well. Uh, maybe for the penultimate time, because I've done my research. I've done my research. And to even stand a chance against the Cantonian Elite Four, we need to hit 55 to 60 in terms of our level across the board. So it's going to be a long old grind fest to make sure that we are up to the challenge 
because I would love to not lose anybody on the way to the champion, you know? So, let's drop, let's drop that Discord link into the chat below. Let's do the rules, get rid of that starting soon, for we've begun, and let's get on with tonight, shall we? Oh, yes. Let's go. So, anime recap time. We departed from the Pokemon League gate for the next destination. We departed from the Pokemon League gate for the next destination. Managed to get out of Victoria Road after wandering about. That's very, very true. We arrived at the Indigo Plateau itself. And we saved here in the Indigo Plateau. So, let's go over our current team, shall we? Our current team is Galleon the Magneton. Currently rocking Spark, Supersonic, Sonic Boom, and Thunder Wave. We've got Karuma. Have the... a rotten day. Have a rotten day. Thank you very much, Bex, and it's good to see you again. It's good to see you again. We've got Karuma with Flamethrower, Confuse Ray, Willow Wisp, and Quick Attack, which should hopefully come in handy a little bit later down the line. We've got Fishstick the Gyarados, our, probably our longest surviving team member at this point. Currently Rock and Surf, Strength, Bite, and Dragon Rage. We've got First Try. First Try! Currently Rocking Surf, Hypnosis, Belly Drum, and Body Slam. We're probably going to swap out the Body Slam for Brick Break, I'll be completely honest. Just for a little bit of extra stab damage. And last, and we, next up we got Zinx, the Zinx the Jinx. Hopefully Zinx can prove a little bit useful during the uh, during the Elite Four climb. Currently Rocket, Ice Punch, Lovely Kiss, Dream Eater, and Water Pulse for that extra little bit of coverage. And then lastly, we've got Mathilla, the Primeape. Currently Rocket, Fury Swipes, Focus Energy, Seismic Toss, and Cross Chop. We are going to be teaching Mathilla a coverage move in place of Fury Swipes. We are going to be teaching Mathilla Rock Tomb. Is what we're going to be teaching. So let's. Bolty, Giga Drain, Solar Beam, Earthquake. Now, the only reason why I don't mind teaching your Rock Tomb at this particular moment in time. Okay, the only reason I don't mind. Do not jinx any deaths, please. I will try not to. I will try not to. There you go. Load up the DVD. Absorption! There you go. Mathilla learned Rock Tomb. Uh, what else do we have? Overheat. Oh, we've also got Overheat. Remember, this is before permanent TM use. The one you were ready to sacrifice. Yes, Mathilla. Hey, look. I had to play my options, okay? I had to weigh my options at the time. I had to weigh my options at the time, okay? There isn't a Nuzlocker in the world that would, you know, say that I was not playing to the correct out last time. But okay, the only place we... The only place we can go and grind now, effectively, is Victory Road. So we're going to put Mathilla at the front. And we are just going to wander around. That's the te that's the move tutor for double edge, if we ever want to teach him that. Okay, we are not wasting our time with Zubat. Okay, even with the EXP share equipped, we are not wasting our time with Zubat. Neither are we waiting wasting our time with Geodudes. Not with Geodudes. We're not, we're not wasting our time with Geodids. Come on. Come on, game, please. We need some big, bad Pokemon like Onyxes to grind against. 
Holy shit, yeah, that'll do. Thankfully, Marowak, uh, Marowak can't, uh, can't do too much. There you go, can't do too much. Of course, a crit. The first attack of the night, it's a crit. The first attack of the night. Aren't we blessed? We're blessed, aren't we, chat? Okay, here we go again. No, just another Geodid. I don't want Geodids. I want evolved Pokemon. I want Gravelers and Marowax. I mean, hell, I'll take Onyx. I mean, I'll take Onyx. 100% I'll take Onyx, and I'll tell you why. Thing is worth a bit of EXP. And it is absolutely... And Onyx are piss weak. See? They have got nothing in terms of... Uh, they've got nothing in terms of power. Now, if it was Steelix, I would feel a little bit... I would feel a little, uh, little worried. Now, yes, we do have a bunch of rare candies, and I will be... No, 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 I'm not ris I'm not risking it. Inches. Well, unfortunately, we didn't capture one. We didn't capture one, otherwise it, we would have nicknamed it that. Yep, and that is why we swapped out. Unfortunately, this is just gonna have. To, this is gonna be the stream. This is genuinely gonna be the stream. It's just gonna be us grinding a bunch of levels out against the wild, against the wild Pokemon here in Victory Road. Uh, hmm. We can't just keep relying. We can't just keep relying on uh, on Gyarados for this. We should. I mean, we can. We shouldn't, we can. But just not all the time. Hey, at least the crit was against, uh, against my opponent this time. At least Mathilla is getting some good EXP going, you know? No, Geodud, I don't want to fight you. Okay, here we go again. Come on, give me something good. No, that's not anything good. Come on, please. This is fucking Victory Road! Why are we still fighting Zubats? That's more like it! The unfortunate thing is, though, we can't really leave Mathilla in. Um, is the AI going to be clever enough? That's the question. I don't want to risk it. Yep, it was smart enough. Look, I know it's a goal bat, but a super effective hit is a super effective hit. Wow, that goal bat's fucking... Well, then again, it is a few levels higher. Let's try will o -Wisp in the thing. We need to try and reduce that physical attack down. Oh, 
Oh, that's upsetting. Now we're super. Now we're. Uh, now we are genuinely uh, super. Super fight or flight. We either super fight here or super. Or, or we. Never mind. You know, if that Golbat went for wing attack and got the crit. Goddamn pixel of health. It's, this is this is the reason why we've got quick attack on her over here. And being so close to the end exit means that we can uh No machip No machop, I don't care. But yeah, this is it. This is final preparation now. Okay, that's more like it. Sand slash. And we're going to first try. First try! As in, we are about to first try the sand slash. Poisoned. No? Good. Hey, there we go. As I said, we've got another. We at least have another ten levels to go with everybody. Well, okay, maybe not with everybody, but a lot of the team. As I said, we need to at least be fifty-five, and fifty-five is being exceptionally generous. I mean, do you mind the grind session on stream, or would you prefer that I do this off stream and then, uh, and then next time we're able to uh, get the Nuzlocke going, we can just go straight to the Elite Four? Or would you, or do you prefer to watch the grind session so you can keep me honest? You can keep me honest so we don't break any more rules. Oops, did not mean to do that. That was a force of habit. Yes, I'm going to use the fame checker on my job. God damn it, no! Stop with the Zubats! Give me Golbats, God, for Pete's sakes. Okay, Machoke, you know what? We'll, we'll try fighting the Machoke. Uh oh. It's Cross Shop versus Cross Shop. Mithila, live! I'm not risking this. I am not risking this. No way am I risking this. Mathilla did great doing that one attack. I don't want to. I don't want to tempt fate. I. I do not want to tempt fate with it being a speed tie. Submission. Ooh. As if I didn't think Machoke was a kinky Pokemon to begin with. You know the name's Machoke. They use submission. My, my. Very, very telling, isn't it? Somebody on that development team was horny. Hey, I didn't name the move. Yeah, I did not name that move. I did not. Give it to a Pokemon, you know, whose uh, name can be very easily manipulated into making haha -ha bedroom jokes. More bloody Zuba. Should I just start knocking out everything? Fine, I'll just start knocking out everything. Why not? Yeah, that was absolutely not worth it. That was not worth the one PP needed for Rock Tomb. 
This is more like it. God damn it. No, Onyx, don't use Darude. Come on, I had to fucking say it. First try. Is he 700 EXP? That is absolutely worth it. And again, if we could just keep getting Onyx, that would be great. That would be great, game. Ah, uh, not again. Fucking, where is that pixel of health? Damn it. Seven hundred. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Still well. We're doing with this grinding session. How are you all tonight? How are? Okay. Here we go. We're going to choke. <laughs> Holy shit! I hate. I hate. I hate primate being so goddamn paper thin. I hate, but I hate Mathilla being so paper thin. Damn, it was close. We almost got. <laughs> You know, chat, if I was smarter, okay, if I was smarter and a lot more clever, I would absolutely come up with a joke about being made to submit via submission. But uh, I'm unfortunately not that talented. I'm unfortunately not that talented. So all I'm going to say is, holy shit, I'm glad we lived. Look, I love being in submission as, no as, as much as the next person. Trust me, I really do. And I have eyewitness accounts to it. But... That was probably the one time I did not want submission to make to make any sort of impact upon me. However, we are very slowly, very slowly getting there. Hey, a sand slash. Now we should be okay. Go fast drop. Now the only problem is sand slash has got quite a lot of quite a lot of physical defense. Damn, that was just a fucking swift. Oh, I think I made a mistake. Oh, please. Stop. Stop! Okay. Now we should be able to outspeed. Go seismic toss. There we go. And a thousand EXP just for that one fight. Nice. Uh oh. Please, we. Okay, it's just a Geodud. That's fine. That's fine. The ironic thing is, may Mathilla may not even be the best Pokemon to be using. When it comes to the Elite Four. But that... But again, that's potentially... As I say, all we need to do is just keep on grinding out some levels. As I said, 55 is our absolute minimum to hit. Okay, taking taking the median of all the levels of the Elite Four of Kanto into consideration. Honestly, 55, I think even I think even 55 across the board in our in terms of our team is pushing it. Because by the time we get round 
we get around to fight number four, we're going to be looking at, at Pokemon who are, you know, 58 to 60. Uh, yeah, we are not leaving in Marrow. Uh, not we are not leaving in Mathillo against a Marowak. Do you get ground out by a Marowak? To quote the uh, poker rap there. And that is why double hit ground type stab. No. Hell no. We are not leaving in a uh, a paper thin goddamn critical hit surf. We're not leaving in Prime Ever against a goddamn uh, Marowak with a Bomerang. Hell no. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. Fucking Prime Ever can hit as hard as a dump truck when it needs to, but it just doesn't have the ball. Why? Okay, well, there's a, uh, there's like a primate. Okay, so we could hopefully do this. Okay. Oh shit, the wild one outspeeds? That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Please, please crit, please crit, please crit, please. God damn it. Uh, okay, we need to go into fish stick here. We need to weaken down the opposing primate and we need to be able to survive a hit. Rage. Seriously? Rage? Well, we're gonna give you the Dragon Rage! That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give him the Dragon Rage. The thing is, I don't wanna I don't wanna use up too many of our healing items just yet. Why haven't I sold those yet? Oh yeah, that's right. We still, and we still have potentially uh, some drugs to administer. So we'll see if we can administer some drugs before the Elite Four. Would you like? Yes, yes. I do want you to heal me up. To actually, I should stop focusing on one Pokemon. Shit. Okay. Okay, so the next time Mathilla gets low on health, we're just going to swap out to somebody else. This is uh, not optimal. And I can't believe it's just taken me this long to notice it. I do apologize. Ah, <sighs> but yeah, been a very it's been a very interesting few days. New job. Yeah, starting a new job which has been fun. It's been fun to start a new job. Because I think my, my time with my old one has expired. Hey, that's what we love to see. So yeah, I think my uh, my time with my old job has expired now. And um, so yeah, the new job's been going very well. New job's been going very well. Very happy with it. Very happy with it. Um... And then, yeah, just looking after the goddaughter. She is a she's a wonderful little girl. She is just a genuinely wonderful little girl. If I could be a parent to a little girl or, or a kid as wonderful as my goddaughter, I would be exceptionally proud and happy. Though I hope they would have a lot less energy because goddamn, she can run she can run fucking rings around a ball, I'm telling you that much. Hey, there's another Onyx. There's another fantastic target for Mathilla to just to take down. If Cross Chop, it would hit. Thank heavens there was no paralysis. Holy shit. Okay, that was a crit. That's why. Why? Just why? Why would you do that? Okay. We're not going to... Okay, now that Mathilla has taken a bit of an ass whipping, we are going to swap out Mathilla and we're going to go into... Uh, we're going to go into Zinx. The thing is with Zinx, Zinx is very, very good. She's going to be extremely, extremely quick. In fact, we're going to make sure she's extremely quick. Where is the Tarbos? Here we go. 
Drink this. There we go. We're gonna make sure that uh, Jinx is very quick because she needs to be to beat the get uh, to beat uh, to beat certain Pokemon. Now we already know that her special attack is astronomic. And don't forget, this is Generation Three, meaning that uh, moves are dependent. Uh, well, moves that moves uh, they're separated by their type, not their physicality. So ice, no matter what it is, whether it's ice punch or ice beam or blizzard or whatever, is all considered special attack. And then you've got stuff like uh, brick break. If it was in this generation, focus blast. Okay, we're going to hit them with a times four effective water pulse. Oh, yeah. That's the good shit right there. Wow. E holy shit. EXP shed Zinx is... Pretty damn good. Okay, this may be a problem. Okay, lovely kiss hits. Oh, thank heavens for that. Oh. Okay, go Dream Eater. Holy shit, Zinx. That's more like it. Those are the Pokemon we want to see. We want to see Onyx. We... Okay, come on. We want Evolved Pokemon and we also want Onyx. Which is the exact opposite of what a Machop is. Still, uh, there's gonna be, I hate to say it, there's, um, there is no stream tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna come out and say it right now while, while we are grinding. Uh, there is no stream tomorrow because my new job requires me to work the evening shift. Which means no Final Fantasy VII tomorrow. Unfortunately. No, seriously, it's, um, my new job requires me to, uh, well, has asked me for my shifts tomorrow, uh, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and then I get a break, and then 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. So it's going to be a long old day, especially considering I've still got my uh, cleaning job in the morning. But uh, as I said, if tomorrow's shift at the new job goes even 60%, uh, even 60% as well as it did on Sunday, uh, I'm handing in my I'm handing in my notice. A S A F ing fucking P. I am telling you now. No more waking up at half past three to quarter to four in the morning, and uh, no more getting. Uh, and no more getting annoyed at people ignoring the fucking obvious one and a half foot tall yellow sign that says, Do not enter someone's cleaning. You know? I've tried to remain as professional as possible and not complain too much. Not complain. Ooh, Primeape's gonna have Vital Spirit. Uh, I'm not gonna risk this. I'm not gonna risk this. But, uh, yeah, I've tried to remain as, you know, as, uh, as professional as possible and not complain about my, uh, my current employment while on stream. And I won't be, and I won't be able to fully, 
until I leave that job. But the second that I do, you bet your ass during a uh, during a quiet time, I'm gonna be able to bitch and complain and moan and whine while drinking wine. <laughs> all about that bloody thing because uh let me tell you something i have got some gripes and god damn it another geo dude again we're in victory fucking road why do we keep getting geo dudes where are the gravelers where are the rhyhorn Yes, give me more primate. Give me more. Give me more onyx. Give me more machoke and marrow wax. Also, I know Zinx was a traded Pokemon, but damn, she is getting those levels quick. Also, I was uh, also I attended my local uh, I attended my local uh, Pokemon trading card game event today. Clean sweep, thankfully. Uh, the Lost box Reggie Gigas. Also, nice HP. Uh, Lost box Reggie Gigas clean swept the competition. Uh, I, I although I will admit I don't count one win. I don't count one win because they were a complete newbie. And they were not playing the most. They were not playing the best deck, honestly. So, while I technically, on paper, had three wins, uh, I only counted two for those circumstances. And that's not be me being mean on 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 the uh, on the opponent. That's me telling you how it is. Okay, here we go. Machoke yet again. Those things. Go love the kiss. And then Dream Eater. Yes, eat the dreams of the fallen. This is what we need to do to one particular member of the Elite Four. Zubat, why do we, it's, again, I know I complained about this a couple of times, I'm still gonna complain about it, it's fucking Victory Road, it's the final dungeon of the goddamn mainline story, why on earth are we still getting Zubat, this is, a, this is effectively the same as going to World 8, and being right on the doorstep of Bowser's Castle in Mario Brothers, and still being accosted by Singular Goomba, No, no lava, no lava, no fireballs, just one Goomba on its own coming towards you slowly and, and hopping in place to the bars in the music. You know what I mean. Okay, here we go. We got a sand slash. Finally, something we can actually ice punch and have it be worth a damn. Hey. There it is. What we'll, what we'll do, considering Zinx is able to get levels so quickly, is we'll get Zinx up to like 48. And then we can use her as like a, uh, we can use her as then a, uh, a training partner, effectively. But yes, I have tried to remain professional when it comes to complaining about what, about what could potentially be, okay? That, let's not count chickens before they've hatched. What could potentially be a former employer. But as I said, as soon as I'm free, okay? Because all i got to do is give one week's notice. As soon as I'm free, bam, I'm just going to be able... I am going to be able to complain about... Uh, Certain things that I've had gripe with, especially over the last year. Come on, give us something good. That'll do. We can ice punch that and get some nice EXP. Let's 
Remember to stay hydrated, chat. Remember to stay hydrated. Still, I suppose after uh, I suppose after the Nuzlocke is done, if we uh, if we did want to keep on if we did want to keep on top of like Game Boy stuff, I wonder what I wonder what Game Boy games you guys would like to see. Would you like to see Mario Luigi Superstar Saga? Would you like to see Donkey Kong ninety four? Also, absolutely no question about taking out uh, Golbat there. I was about to say Crowbat, I'm so used to seeing Crowbat. <laughs> God's sakes, Geodude, no. Actually, hang on a minute. Considering this is Zinx, traded Pokemon with the XP share, how much does a Geodude actually give us? Holy shit, that's actually not bad, huh? Okay, so with Zinx, we're going to knock out everything, then. Go Water Pulse. Still, this is the reason why I gave Jinx Water Pulse. Good coverage, and also able to shred the living piss out of these dual, uh, dual rock and ground types. Okay, now Zix is at level 46. 46. So we're going to go until 48. Again, okay, then we're going to start work on somebody else. And as and as we uh, as we discovered, with the XP share, Zinx being the traded Pokemon actually gets quite a bit of decent EXP, even from these Pokemon like the Chop and Geo dude. Yeah, 639. That's actually genuinely not terrible, especially for a Pokemon like Jinx. Still, do you think we'll bump into a shiny? Nah. I, I honestly don't think we will. I mean, if we do, we've got no choice but to try and catch it. We can't use it in battle, of course, but, uh, you know, catching a, an OG shiny is uh, kind of rare. I think it's like a 1 in 8,400 chance. Okay, I am... Okay, I'm actually not going to waste time with Zubat. I'll be honest, I'm not wasting time with Zubat. G Golbat, uh, sorry, Gol Golbat and... Golbat and Geodude are one thing, but Zubat is genuinely just seriously not worth the effort. Chop is easy enough to take down. Did you catch a shiny? No, no, no. I was just saying... I was just saying that catching a shiny is very unlikely. Very unlikely, but if we do encounter one, we've got no choice but to attempt to catch the thing. The worst shiny to find would be Geodude, because, uh, well, A, go shiny golem doesn't look great, but also, uh, fucking no self-destruct. 
And we don't want a shiny Pokemon to self-destruct. No, we do not. Yeah, as I said, we're going to get Zinx up to level 48, and then we'll start work on the next Pokemon. Look, don't get me wrong, Zinx cannot take a physical hit for, to save her life. But the additional levels and extra defense is definitely going to be uh, definitely going to be helpful. Okay, we are one level away, and then uh, Zinx can be put on the back shelf for a bit. What is with all these bloody Geo dude? Again, the only reason why I'm even taking these guys out with Zinx is because, you know, traded Pokemon with the EXP share, she at least gets a decent chunk of change when it comes to EXP points. Sorry, experience points. Okay, I am not wasting my time on a small fry anymore. No. Come on, this is fucking Victory Road. Why am I not being accosted by Machoke and Golbat and Graveler and Rhyhorn and every... And, you know, just bigger, badder fucking Pokemon than Zubat. That's more like it! Please, for God's sakes, one shot. Oh, thank God. Thank Arceus. Yeah, that's more like it. Give us more Marowak. Come on, give us more Marowak. Or Primeape, you know what? We'll take Primeape as well. Crunch this thing in the face with an Ice Punch. Oh. Oh no. Live, 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 live. Sweet mother of pearl. That was, uh, that was close, is what that was. Okay. We're now going to start work on Karuma for a little... In fact, no, we're not. We're going to... Yes, we're going to... Okay, yes, we are going to work on Karuma a touch. We are just going to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal everybody up because... Damn! I did say... I, I did say, though, okay? Yeah, I did genuinely say that Zinx can barely take physical hits to save a life. And goddamn, that was the prime example right there. That was the prime example. Okay. Save the game. Heavens for that. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Back to victory road. Slayer, hello, hello. Uh, how are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? Sorry about not being... I, I mean, I know I said this earlier in the stream. I'm just sorry that I've not been able to stream uh, for, for a while now. Uh, that was just due to a combination of starting a brand new job and babysitting. So, you know, a fucking one-two punch one two combination punch but uh new job's going well and if it goes well again tomorrow i'll be uh i'll be leaving my current one which uh i am kind of hoping for because goddamn <laughs> but how are you i hope you're doing very well hope you're looking after yourself uh we're just currently grinding out a, uh, a lot of levels here in victory road ah the unfortunate thing is I don't even want to risk this. You know what? I don't even want to risk this. Mathilla will come out and finish off the Onyx. Grind time is going to take a while. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. I'm sorry. Where is that fucking pixel? Where's that pixel of health, chat? There you go. We're just going to beat the Onyx over there with a rock. There are obviously some Pokemon I would prefer to fight with Karuma than others. You know, if we will -o yeah, if we actually will with the Onyx, the special defense on this thing is so low. Huh. Okay, that's a special attack. That's gonna do. Yeah, fuck all. Okay, let's have a look and see what flamethrower does. It, to be quite honest, for a resisted hit, that doesn't do too bad. And there's the paralysis dude, the dragon breath. Remember, a uh, dragon in this generation is. Uh, Dragon in this generation is a special move. Then this is going to be resisted by fire. Yes, yes, it is. This is why I don't grind and cheat. Well, unfortunately, I've got to be. I've got to. Uh, I've got to be kept honest. I have to be kept honest because I've already. Uh, I've already kind of bent the rules ever so slightly in this Nuzlocke already. So uh, I've now got to be kept on the level. I've now got to be kept on the level. Jesus, I'm coming to this Pokemon Center so often. I should ask this. Uh, I should ask this uh, nurse Joy for her fucking phone number. Uh, what about the VS Seeker? What? Oh, oh, oh! Is it bad to say that I forgot about the VS Seeker? There's some trainers that do scale and a good EXP. Right, okay. Uh, I... Okay. We know what we can do. Okay, what we can do is we can actually focus down on Zinx. Okay, considering Zinx is going to be the... Uh, is going to be the absolute easiest Pokemon to get to level 55, which is going to be the absolute minimum. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get Zinx up to level 55 in Victory Road. Then we're going to go back around Kanto. And we're going to see if we can uh, take on some of the trainers ag again with our, uh, with, our, with our better team. So Zinx... So Zinx now uh, traded Pokemon EXP share. Lots of bonus EXP. Especially from a Pokemon as big and bad as I'm. Uh, not sure if it's scales, but I think in any way it would be easier than to do the bikers and victory run. Oh, cycle run. Oh, shit, yeah, that actually would not... Actually, that's not a terrible idea. Shit, why didn't I think of that? This is why I like you, chat. This is why I like you. You give me the ideas I otherwise blank on. I'll admit, I did not expect that Primeape to live that. Okay, there we go. 
Uh, did you not get the psychic TM for Jinx? No, uh, we're actually doing something slightly different with Jinx. Uh, with Jinx, we've got Dream Eater. We've actually got Dream Eater for Jinx. I want to try and save the psychic TM in case we need to build a brand new team. Because uh, if, for whatever horrible, unholy reason, we end up losing our team in the, in the Indigo Plateau, we need to be able to bounce back with something. Okay, we need to be able to bounce back with something. So we've got Lovely Kiss, we've got Dream Eater, we've got Ice Punch, and we've got Water Pulse for coverage. Yeah, I'm not but Actually, no, I said I was going to take out the, uh, the small fries because, um... With the XP share equipped and everything, even Geodudes are like 600 EXP each. Yeah, it's 624, there you go. Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I've obviously grinded in these games, but I do not miss it. Yeah, no, 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 I, uh, I compl I'm completely with you there. 100% I am with you. The conveniences of modern day Pokemon games with like the EXP candies, uh, an abundance of rare candies. Uh, blissy farming for uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, specifically. Yeah, get grinding up these levels is uh, oh, it's definitely better these days. I poke my eye. I was scratching my eye and I just poked it. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's better. Okay. But yeah, it's... I mean, it's like old school Final Fantasy games, isn't it? You, uh, you need to go back and you need to grind levels. And farm equipment and everything that... But uh, yeah, not having to not having to deal with that archaic stuff is kind of nice. Okay, so we are very close to hitting fifty-five. Uh, I never used the Herba Mystica, but I've already gone a lot and got like. 2300 in total. Holy shit! How on earth have you had, have you got 2300 Herba Mystica? Okay, I'm gonna go and use a fly Pokemon. Let's actually go and check out those bikers on the cycle, cycle road and see, uh, and see what it is they can offer because we can always fly back to the Indigo Plateau. Do we teach? No. As you can see, not a lot of choice here, but we still have access to Stami, we still have access to Slowbro, and Nido Queen, Venomoth at a very fucking stretch, Tangela, Aerodactyl. But this is the reason why I didn't want to use some of the more powerful. Uh, I, this is some of the reason I did not want to use some of the more powerful TMs. Because if we've got to use these guys, we have got to use those guys. Yeah, like 770 salty. That's ridiculous. Okay, Celadon. Here we go. Okay, so let's go check out these bikers.
Hopefully they give us some decent EXP. I honestly can't believe I actually forgot about this. This makes me feel like such a boob. Okay, so let's check out your levels, big man. Hey, let's have ourselves a good time. Okay, Ruben, Ruben the biker, biker, Ruben, Ruben the biker. Oh. Okay. That is, uh, that is not the level I was expecting or hoping for. Yeah, that is not what I was hoping for. Like, not all trainers scale, which is weird. Some do, I don't know which ones. Ah, okay, okay, I see. But no, no, thank you very, thank you very much for the suggestion and everything. I mean... It... Hey, wait a second, don't call me the runaway. Yeah, that is a bit rude. Okay, this one's th this wheezing's 33, so that's at least slightly better. I said slightly. And just the one Pokemon. Oh, boy. Again, and these Zinxes is getting these levels very quickly. So at least there's that. At least Zinx is getting these level, uh, getting these the, the EXP in the levels easily. Five levels to go, and then she's ready for the big time. Just trying to think about another set of trainers. Okay, I think I know. I know the ones I'm going to try. Now again, this could this could fail horribly. It could absolutely fail horribly. But If I remember correctly, okay, there's a lot of people there. So, Meowth and Persian are so cute. Meow, meow, meow. Oh dear, she's already turning into a crazy cat lady. Level 24. Okay. Okay. So, that's a bit of a bust. At least with the double battle, we can get two Pokemon a little bit up. Yeah, just keep hitting that water pulse. Strange in these games where Pokemon of the type don't learn things like Psychic, Thunderbolt, Earthquake, Sludge Bomb by level up. Or at least it's very rare. Or at least it is incredibly rare, because um, I think I think Sand Slash can learn Earthquake. It's just quite late in the game. 
But yeah, the fact that they made TMs more ubiquitous, more ubiquitous, and more and able to be used more, especially Generation Five. Generation 5's TM system is just uh, because they didn't fucking break. Uh, also, they only scale after the second lead battle. Shit. Okay, that's a, that's actually the perfect two. Our twin power became even better. Yeah, did it? Did it really? Yeah, okay, back to the Indigo Plateau it is then. Oh shit, can we actually got the level up from that? Okay. Well, a little, extra, a little extra pocket money never goes never goes awry, but uh, okay, back to Indigo Plateau and uh, and grinding out levels in Victory Road for a little bit more. Uh, what's everybody's health looking like? Yeah, it's looking fine. The thing is, we weren't, we weren't using Galleon anyway, so, uh... Shit, that's the thing. Galleon's gonna be quite difficult. And the thing is, against one member of the Elite Force specifically, Galleon could be really useful. Again, I'm only... Let's actually see, okay? Let's actually see. EXP share, Zinx. How much is she getting? Wow, when even a fucking... Z wow, okay. When even a Geodude outdoes you. So I guess the final battle stream will be two streams later. Uh, yeah. It's certainly looking likely, because as I said, 55 is going to be our absolute minimum for entering the Indigo Plateau. Okay, because I've looked at... I have looked at the levels. Okay, I've looked at all the levels. Okay, and with the occasional level up here and there, 55 is going to give us the barest minimum chance of beating the Cantonian Elite Four because, goddamn, these guys do not fuck about. They don't. They just don't. And you got to remember, and you have to remember, this is not OG, busted ass AI. It'll be, it'll be shitty 50% of the time. No, this is like more up, more quote modern AI where they are not going to pull their punches. Okay, now I'm not too confident with this one because uh, the, the thing is, chat, we've already seen how much damage one we can do to uh, to things. Are you kidding me? We could have just attacked twice. Where is that pixel of health? Where? God damn it, I rolled my eyes super hard there. Okay, so how close is Zinx up to the next level? Okay, about a Geodude away. So yeah, we'll get Zinx up to level 51 and then we'll start work on the next Pokemon.
Okay, this actually could do it. I wish Ice Punch was still a TM in this generation. Okay, there we go. Zinx is four levels away from being ready. D Why the fuck can this Pokemon learn Body Slam? No! There are many things I would like from a Jinx. The ability to meet Santa Claus. For example, I do not want a Jinx to, bell to body slam into me. There's no way I want that. Perfect. Okay, we're going to start working on Karuma. Karuma, uh, I will admit Karuma is going to be a little bit difficult to train up because uh, some of the Pokemon we've got, well, specifically Machoke, Machoke and Machop could have the Guts ability. And if we, uh, and if we uh, Will-O-Wisp them, that is going to be very, very painful for us. It's going to be very painful for us. But thankfully, even though Onyx resists Flamethrower, its special defense is so goddamn trash. It's so goddamn trash that, uh, you know, two Flamethrowers are still going to do the job. Okay, one Onyx, 740 EXP, nice, provided that Karuma can do it all on her own. Let's see how much Machops actually give, okay, let's actually see how much Machops give. I'm not expecting it to be a lot. Okay, 426, that's actually more than I was expecting. If it was going to be less, th if it was going to genuinely be less than 400, I wouldn't have even bothered, but, uh, hell, now that we know that it's just over 400, and that extra little, that extra little bit does add up over time, uh, yeah, I've got no problems, like, burning everything to the ground. And for legal reasons, I, when I say burn everything to the ground, I mean use flamethrower in a video game against fictional Fictional creatures. Okay, this is the Pokemon I was kind of worried about. Let's try Confuse Ray. I should not have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, thank fuck for that. I rolled the dice and I won. Uh, I don't think it was going to be useful for the Elite Four that much, but I guess I could be wrong. The thing is, she could, she can take, uh, she can take some decent hits. Uh, Machamp will always have guts because no god doesn't exist. Yep. Uh, confusion doesn't help guts though. Yep. And craft on the community server is fun. You can cause chaos. Chaos. Hey, there we go. So, yeah, note to self, do not use Will-O-Wisp against, uh, do, yeah, do not use Will-O-Wisp against... Oh, come now, little old me a hero, surely you jested. Surely you're jesting, but thank you, thank you so much, thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, do not use Will-O-Wisp against, uh, any of the Machop line in Generation 3. Golbat, however, is fair fucking game. I 
Okay, we're only going to go for about 10 more minutes because, uh, unfortunately, I've got to be up very early for work tomorrow. I do still have my current... I still have uh, my current cleaning job, so... Ooh, sand slash. Yep, we are not staying in against this. Go first try. First try! You're going to get poison, aren't you? I fucking hate my luck. 10% my ass. 10% my ass. Every single time we get hit by a goddamn poison sting, I swear to God, it actually poisons. Well, back to the Pokemon Center. At least Karuma got 800, 800 EXP. That was nice. Please do not die in the I'm a number one! I'm a number one! But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Bex. Uh, let's have a look-see. Uh, yeah, we got plenty of EXP. You can just head back straight to the Pokemon Center. Again, please don't change your, uh, please don't change your settings at all. The glitch effect on the screen is to represent the poison damage. So yeah, currently still working my cleaning job and, uh, you know, this new one as well. As I said, if tomorrow goes well, I am just putting in the, uh, I'm putting in, I'm, I'm, I'm putting in. I'm, I'm changing jobs. 100% I'm changing. Now, I don't know if my, I don't know if my rotor will be, like, on a set day yet. As it's only my first week, but, uh, hopefully so, hopefully so. You know, it keeps me in the routine and whatever. Okay, here we go. Another goal back. Perfect. So long as well it was pissed. First try. I don't know why. Okay, but in but in very recent years, whenever I've seen whenever I've seen the move mean look, do you wanna know what I imagine? For those of you who are old school SpongeBob fans. Um, do you know the, you know the episode where they sell the chocolate? Do you know the, you know the episode where they sell the chocolate? Um, when Spongebob tells Patrick to maintain constant eye, uh, constant eye contact, and Patrick's eyes are there just, like, expanding and retracting against, <laughs> against a potential customer, that's exactly what I imagine Mean Look to be. I don't know, my, my, my brain is just weird, sometimes. All the fours, 44. Which means we are 11 levels away from Karuma being battle ready. I did say in, I did see in the description that tonight was all about preparation. It was not about uh, taking on the Elite Four. At all. Holy shit. Oh, come on. Really? Double miss? Okay. Come on. Burn. Come on, Karuma. No. Fuck off, Onyx. I don't want to hear the Davood. The song isn't as good as Rick Astley. Oh, of course we get paralyzed by Dragon Breath. As I said, Onyx's special defense is so terrible that just going for the flamethrowers here is the best option. Okay, I am not... 
Okay, let's take Mathilla back at, back in back in front. There you go, take the XP share. God damn it. Shouldn't have even taken that. I swear to God. Okay, you know what? Considering we're going to be relying on this guy for a while, let's actually do... Let's do fish sticks to grinding a little bit, shall we? Yes, let's grind that fish stick. It's fucking Victory Road. Why are we bumping him a chop still? Fish to evolves into fish fillet. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's actually pretty funny. In the Battle of Snacks, Gyarados wins 10 out of 10. couple more minutes. As I said, gotta be up early tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a fucking marathon, I'm telling you. Because, uh, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a marathon. I'm up at my usual time going to my first job. I then have a couple, and then I only have about an hour and a half rest before I've got to do ten until four, then I get an hour's rest, and then I gotta do five until ten. It is not going to be fun. I mean, I... Oh, right, okay, I say that... Uh, the, se the second job is going to be fun. I'm talking about, like, having to do everything in one consecutive day is not going to be fun. Could not stand a chance there. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go until Fish Dick gets one more level, okay? How to be dead? Do it as Captain. This is, yeah, this is, uh, like, legitimately no joke. This is why I've bought myself a, uh, this is why I've bought myself some caffeine tablets. So if I need a very fast pick me up during the day. Okay, so if I need a very fast pick-me-up during the day, I've got it. However, don't don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I'm gonna follow the instructions on the box and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm not gonna overdo it. You can grind out next stream, go to bed. I mean, as I said, I'll I'll get up to the end of this level.
Okay, here we go. This gold bat is going to get fish stick up to the 46. As soon as we hit 46, we can go back to the Indigo Plateau, heal up. We can, at least we can say that even though we've had a couple of close calls, we haven't lost anybody tonight. So, you know, that's the main thing. The main thing is we didn't lose anybody tonight. There it is. Level 46. Okay, back up to the Indigo Plateau we go. Also, why the fuck did they... What, did, the, did they not pay the gardener and he got fucking super pissy? What is with this half-assed maze? Unless it's a high... Unless it's... Oh, there's an item here. What? I was just randomly mashing the A button. Okay, Max Elixir. That could genuinely save us in the uh, in the Elite Four run. Uh, I might have done something funny in VL's bet. Excuse me? In in Minecraft. Oh, okay. Okay. I found it funny, but I won't tell what I did until she's back on the server. Right, okay. I hope I hope it's not one of those like I I I hope you I hope it is actually funny. Right then, let's save the game here. There we go. Right then. I'm going to run a quick one minute advertisement. Uh and after and when said advertisement is over and done with, I'll come back and, uh, when, so yeah, when the advertisement is done and we're back, I'll talk about what's happening over the next couple of days. And, uh, yeah, that'll be the end of the stream. So, I will see you in a minute. I'm also going to drop a link to our Discord server in the chat below. So if you want to keep up to date with goings on behind the scenes with emotes, animations, interact with an amazing community, you know exactly where to find us. So, roll the advertisement. Anyway, for those of you who don't get, for those of you who don't get advertisements, thank you so much for your continual support of the channel. It means so much to us here at Kept Utility 79. Uh, I know today has just been a lot of grinding. I know today has been a lot of grinding, like a uh, like a performer on a pole. But come on, you cannot go into the Cantonian, okay? You cannot go into the Cantonian Elite Four with anything less than everybody being level 55. Trust me, as somebody who has done the research, you cannot do it. And even then, I think 55 is being way too fucking generous. Okay, then. We should be, uh... We should be back from advertisements according to Twitch.tv. Okay, then. There is no stream tomorrow. I know we've only just come back. I know we've only just come back. But, uh, as I said, I've got a... I've got a really long day tomorrow. So, uh, unfortunately, there's no stream tomorrow. Uh, so we should be back on the Wednesday. We should be back on Wednesday with Final Fantasy VII. And then on Thursday, it is... Uh, yeah, then on Thursday, it's uh, Mine and VL's date night. And goddamn, I'm going to need it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to tomorrow, uh, sorry, so I'm looking forward to tomorrow, uh, because the new job is just really up my alley. It's really up my alley, it's something I want to do. Uh, looking forward to Wednesday, where we do more Final Fantasy VII, and I'm also looking forward to my date night, as I do every single week, with VM. Right then, chat, that's going to be the end of the stream. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I, I know it's been nothing but grinding, but as I was talking about during the break, I've looked at the levels of, 
of uh, the Pokemon that the Cantonian Elite Four have, we need to be 55. And even then, I would say 55 is potentially too low for the ending. So I have to hope that we get a couple of really lucky level ups. But anyway, chat. But anyway, but anyway, but anyway. That's going to be the end of the stream. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have yourself a wonderful night. Take care. And as always, folks, and if you know the saying, please say it with me. When life gives you garbage, grab life by the throat. And you make it feel the steel. Make it feel the steel. We are back, hopefully, on Wednesday with Final Fantasy VII. Chat, have yourself a wonderful night. And please, please, please take care of yourselves. We'll hopefully see you for the next stream. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.